I'm Danny Wedding, a retired clinical psychologist living in West Lynn, Oregon. I have a long-standing relationship with Hograifa, and they've published three of my books, Behavior in Medicine, Positive Psychology at the Movies, and Movies in Mental Illness. I'm also editor-in-chief for the Hograifa book series titled Advances in Psychotherapy that is published in conjunction with the Society of Clinical Psychology, Division 12 of APA. Over 50 books have been published in the series to date, and we have about 10 more in the pipeline. I'm especially happy today to announce that Hograifa will be publishing the fifth edition of my book, Movies and Mental Illness, which will be released in November 2023. I think the book would make a great Christmas or Hanukkah present for any student working in psychology or counseling or psychiatry or social work or nursing, anybody working in a mental health field. The fourth edition of Movies and Mental Illness was published in 2014, almost a decade ago. Of course, there have been thousands of new films released since then, and I try to watch and review all of the important new films that deal with mental illness or psychopathology or which depict mental health professionals. Uh, we shifted the emphasis in the new edition. Previous editions were aimed at professors teaching abnormal psychology classes who wanted to use films and film clips to supplement their lectures. In contrast, the fifth edition of Movies and Mental Illness is targeted directly at practicing mental health professionals who want to learn more about mental illness and how it is depicted in films. We've retained the various patient evaluations, critical thinking questions, and recommended readings we had with previous editions they are just now included on a separate Hograifa website that uh, was developed in conjunction with the new edition of Movies and Mental Illness. I'm actually very methodical in my approach, scanning Rotten Tomatoes in the Internet Movie Database for recommendations for films that feature mental illness or depict mental health professionals. I also get lots of recommendations from students and professors who've used movies and mental illness in the classroom, and I routinely get film recommendations from friends and colleagues in the American Psychological Association, especially Division 10, the Society for Aesthetics, Creativity, and Art, and Division 46, the Society for Media Psychology, and technology. I'm now retired and I'll typically watch a film in the afternoon or early evening and then write about it the same night. I watch two or three movies every week. Serving as editor-in-chief for the Advances in Psychotherapy book series has been the capstone of a long and rewarding career as a clinical psychologist. I've been in this role for more than 20 years, and I've read every word of each of the 50 or so books that have been published to date. Over 30 volumes have been translated into a dozen or so languages, and we like to think that working with Division 12 of APA, we're helping to shape the practice of clinical psychology around the world. I just recently, in today in fact, received the uh, Ukrainian translation of three books in the series. I'm especially proud that the series has generated an ongoing and substantial revenue stream for the Society of Clinical Psychology. Anyone interested in the series can learn more by Googling Hograifa advances in psychotherapy. 
The next book I anticipate publishing is a volume on cultural humility and will soon have a new release of a book on panic disorder and agoraphobia. I've grown old as a clinical psychologist and I've loved just about every minute of my career. And it's a career that's allowed me to be a, a therapist, a scholar, a policy wonk working for the Congress. It's allowed me to travel with two Fulbright fellowships. And I, um, I've, I've, I've loved it. And I especially love the fact that I've been able to combine my passion for movies with my professional life. That passion culminated in movies and mental illness. I think it's a great book. I hope you'll get a copy and I hope you'll think so too. Thank you.